Welcome back to the C++ tutorial. And today we're going to be writing a program that's going to ask the user for the number of quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. And then we're going to calculate that and that number into a dollar amount. So first we need some variables. You can say int quarter and dime and nickel and int penny. So here we're just defining a variable of type integer for every coin we have. And then we need actual user input in there, so we could say cn quarter, asking the user for a number and stored inside of quarter. Same thing for dime. And then for nickel. And then for penny. So now we have user input and we're storing inside our variables we define, which is type integer. So now we need another variable to store like the double, to store the dollar amount, which is going to be a double, because we don't want it to be like a whole number. We want it to have like a decimal point and then numbers after it. So we could say double dollars, and in there we could have our variables times however much they're worth. A quarter would be so a quarter would be our quarter variable we're defined. It's going to have however many number like the user input in. It could be two quarters, and then we can multiply that by 0.25 because a quarter is worth 25 cents. And then we can do the same thing for dime times 0.10, which just represent 10 cents. A nickel's worth 0.05 5 cents. And then a penny's worth 1 cent. Okay, so now we have our number. It's going to be stored inside of dollars. So we're actually going to format this number. So there's only like two numbers after the decimal point. For an example, let's say 0.345. We only want it to have. 0.34 after the decimal point because in like in the United States there's nothing smaller than a cent so we don't we have no use for the five at the end just as an example so we could do a C out we're gonna say fix because we want it to focus only after the decimal point and then we could say set after sound that I always spell this I always spell this incorrectly pre precision okay I think I spelled that right it's like precision two so we're saying we're, we want to focus on decimal point and we only want two numbers after the decimal point. And then there we could say amount and we could have a little space so we can actually print the amount. And then we want to print dollars. And we end the line. So right now our program won't run because we're missing like an like, like an in like an import, we want to import a library. So we're gonna do include IO manip. So it's gonna include import output manipulation. And as soon as we include that, this like error is gone. So now we're free to run a program. Okay, so let's enter two quarters, which would be 50 cents, two dimes, which would put us 70 cents, two nickels, which would put us at 80 cents, and then two pennies, which would put us at 82 cents. So our program is running, but we could make it a little better. So right here, this is this is literally perfect, but just add to it. So you could say C out, enter the number of quarters, and then we could, we'll just uh, we'll just leave it like that because we want the number to be right next to it. You could do a new line, but then the, the like the next input would be on the new line. We we'll just enter the number of dimes. Enter number of nickels, and we just enter number of pennies. And now, if we run this, it's gonna actually gonna ask the user what what they're gonna be inputting. Enter number of quarters. Two quarters. Oh, let's put a. It's right next to it. Let's put a space. We don't want the we don't want the like the number to be right next to like the actual like text. So we'll put a space next to it. Okay, now let's rerun this. Now there it is. Enter number of quarters. Two quarters. Number of dimes. Two dimes. Two nickels and then two pennies. And then we'll have eighty-two cents. So we're pretty much done. Let me zoom out so you can see the actual code. If this helps you in any way, leave a like and subscribe.